Alright, welcome to a game called Bounty of One. Honestly, I can't remember if I played this on this channel or not before. But I, as you can see, I have played this game a lot before. Oh, um... Do I have that set for higher? I thought I did. Uh, let's not go quite so crazy. But, yeah, I guess I can go with Nigel. He's got some good stuff. Alright. Uh, so this game is like Vampire Survivors, pretty much. But, instead of, you know, how in Vampire Survivors you're always shooting even if they're moving. And this one... <coughs> well, you can only shoot when that you're standing still. Oh, that's a legendary. That's a good one. That you get this early. So, of course, you got your stats over here. So, your health, your damage, your crit chance, your area, your bounce, your move speed, your attack speed. Your crit damage, your cooldown, your armor piercing, and your dashes. So each enemy, of course, has a their own health. Wow, I'm just getting lucky with the range on this one, ain't I, folks? That actually doesn't usually happen that often. So there are certain seeds that you can actually do in this game. So let's go with a little bit more extra attack speed. I usually like to have a lot of attack speed most of the time. So as you can see, this one, you can basically hit them twice. So of course you want to actually move out of the way, I'll get a little bit of extra crit. Just, ow. Oh, I forgot. I, usually I do like the infamy for less than 10 so I don't take double damage. Let's see, 5% crit for each dash. Uh, I think I'll rather take this. I can kill 20 enemies. Whoa, they changed this. Huh. So of course you got your ban your rerolls, your banishes, your skips. And your inventory. So this shows you what you got. Sure can. You sh my shots come back to me and I gain 5 piercing. So that means I hit. I can hit 5 enemies at a time. I think I'll go for this. Just because I can get a good chunk of crits. Oh that's a mythic. Yeah I'll just. Oh I'm so fast. I did not need the speed. Wee. <laughs> okay that's fun. Uh, more attack speed, please. So, there are some really good upgrades. Ooh, I'll take the extra health. Just because I take two points of damage instead of one per hit. So, if you basically... So, you see this guy that's just running. He will just continue to actually just chase after me until you know I kill. Him. Ooh, what wow, these actually pretty dang good. So the more health I have, the more damage I get. But I think I will take is that also reduces my movement speed a little bit. So as you can see, I dealt 272, but now that I have max health. Yeah, I'll also get more dashes because the dashes help me do more crits, and the more crits I have, the more damage I do. The more damage, the less likely they are to survive, which is actually very useful. Now, I'll increase my crit again, even though I probably technically really do not need to. Now, there are like some abilities I would would really actually like to get in this build. Um, so space is also just a crit, but you also knows if I dash, my crit chance goes down. 
I don't really want the crit chance to go down. Legendary attack speed, yes please. So as you can see, I do attack faster. The faster that attack speed is, the faster I attack. And the faster I attack, the more times I get to hit people. See the guys with the hats? They are ones that have more health. Oh, immunity, gold. This is actually pretty dang good. So you see this bar up top right here? That's my XP bar. This is a like way to measure how long. So at certain intervals, there will be more in, or like a boss. So I'll take this one. So basically, I can actually attract and get double the XP. That's what these little coins are. They are my XP. And if I allow them to, like, sit long enough, basically, oh, I need more area for this. So, for this guy, the shurikens, the more area I have, the farther out that they will go. So, you see, I'm shooting out three shurikens per second. Well, 3.7 shurikens per second. And, you know, you always want that to be more. Because, you know, you'll be doing more damage. So, now I'm able to shoot out four, which should be good enough for right now. Uh, bounce, I don't really need for this build. This build's more of a piercing build than a bouncing build. So, you'll kind of see why I don't really want bounce. Because, in, how about this game calculates it, is that it will do the piercing first. And then it'll bounce, so most likely my shots will never end really bounce. So as you can see, there's a new enemy. I'll go this for a lot more crit. That's good. Uh, so there are like upgrades you can get for, because this game it's RNG. It's very much Vampire Survivor like. But it's more of a limit break type of one, in a sense. So now I'm doing 189 damage per hit. So like 300 with my crits, which is actually really good. Um, this gives me more attack speed. I think I'll actually re-roll. So crit... This could give me 100%, but I think I will take Tumbleweed. Which is actually a pretty good ability. Seems like I actually got a second chest. Ooh, it's just actually really good. Granted, it does reduce my attack speed, but it also increases my damage. So I can also boost up my attack speed again. So, you notice I lost, like, a good chunk of my attack speed, basically. So, now I can actually go for more bounce build, too. Uh, two damages or cooldown. I don't really have any abilities for cooldown requirements. So, I'll just go for the dashes, which also increases my cactus. Or, sorry, my crit chance. So let's go for more attack speed because I want to get back up to at least 4 bullets per second. Now there's also another one that I would like to get at the telescope. Oh right, the false gold. I kind of really forgot about that, so now here comes the Sheriff. So let's do crit. So it looks like I get Captain Rex Cupcake. Oh, and it also shows my infamy level. Wow, before if I didn't like that many- Wow, he's almost dead. Mm 
that was actually really easy. Purple chairs, they give you good things. Uh, I'll take this. Three times less damage, I don't care. Look how many times I attack. They're just dead. <laughs> like, no way around it. They're just there. Plus, I can also boost up my damage by gaining more health. Or by doing this. So now I'm back up to 100 and I did 275 on crits. So this is actually pretty dang good. I was actually wanting this, so now I don't need to focus on attack speed anymore. What I want to focus on is more damage in area and seeing if I could get a really good build going on here. Now I've been able to survive for a long time in this game. The longer you survive, the stronger the enemies get, so if you're thinking of Vampire Survivor terminology, think of it like Curse. So you know how Curse will increase the enemies' health. Uh, ooh, that's actually pretty dang good. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Uh, sure, I'll also take some more movement speed too. So also, something about Gluttony that there's a bit of a downside. The more health you have, the slower you are, but the stronger you are too. So I don't really need that, I'll go for more damage. Because, you know, I'm already at over 80% crit. So I could definitely focus on crit damage and my actual DPS along with area. It would be pretty nice to have area. So I can actually hit out longer. And he knows that, I mean, look at it. He's almost already dead, basically. Oh, I, ow. I took some, why did I take some damage? Mmm... Projectiles are slower, I don't really like that. Um... I think I'll reroll. Ooh! I'll take this. So this randomly... Oh, and the health also randomly drops from enemies. Which is actually pretty dang nice. So you got like an RNG chance of getting a one heart. So, but also if you have enough of the coins on the ground, they will actually merge into one. Much like Vampire Survivors does. Oh, I was not paying attention. So, as you can see, when I get a bounce, I get a new cactus. Which is actually pretty dang nice. More cactuses on the screen means more ways to hit the enemies. The more times I hit the enemies, the more damage I do. And the more damage, the faster they die. Simple as that. So let's go more area so I can actually affect my stuff a little bit from farther away. So as you can see, that green guy is a brand new enemy. He did not stand a chance. Uh, you really don't really need that. Could get more health. I might actually just get this for a rotating shield so I can block the projectiles so I don't, you know, die. And I would like very much not to die here, please. If I can manage it. Uh, yeah, I need more health right now. So, as you can see, if I had more area, I could actually hit the enemies from farther away. If I can hit them from farther away, it's less likely that they will actually be able to hit me. With, like, their range attacks or any of their attacks so they can get close to me. And, you know, I'm already at 96 damage there you go now I'm at 107 that's good I'm slowly getting back my damage 
just from the health. I do desperately need more area too, so I can hit these guys from farther away. Which for like this one is actually pretty dang good. Good. Oh, that, that's a new guy. I have not seen him before. Ow. Huh. So you hear that little thing? That means I get a legendary. Ah, uh, it's not very good. Uh, I'll reroll. I guess I'll get the coffee. Cause that gets me more attack speed, which I technically do not really need, but it was like probably the best thing I could really help for for that one. Let's go for more damage. Good, I'm almost back to maximum health. So, ah, dang it. And I just lost one health, too. Ow, ow. Oh, I am too fast, I feel like. I'll take another bounce for sure. Uh, this should be... Oh, no, this is a brand new boss. Let's move it. Huh. Ow. Okay, this is very interesting fight. I play this game like um probably like over a hundred times. And I've never seen this guy before. Ooh, shoot behind? That's actually very nice. I'll take that. So this way this actually helps me a lot more. Okay, so now with max HP at 13, I'm doing almost 150 damage. So now I just would like to get like some more area. I feel like that those blue guys are new too. I don't, I do not remember seeing them before. Oh, and they survived 400 damage. So yeah, I need to increase either my damage or my crit chance. Or my crit damage. You see how then those ones that you just got new ones? Uh, don't really care about that. Don't really care. Um... Nah, I'll do that. Oh, that's actually really good. So each time I dash, I can heal up. Which is actually great for me. So now... I mean, technically I do lose a little... Ow. A little bit of crit, so see? I just healed up there. Uh, 149 to 162. Yeah, I'll, I'd rather take that. Why were you aiming over there? I don't even have the reduce your accuracy by 70% build. Or 70% item. Grin, and like the map tile on this repeats, so you're gonna be getting the exact same. More dashes, please. Thank you. More crit. Ooh, that's actually really good. Yeah, I'll take that. Because now look. Ow. So each time that 
one of my projectiles hit, it splits into three different projectiles. Or like three new, brand new projectiles, which is actually by itself really good. Why did one just want to stay right there? I kind of wish that there was one item that would like increase the rotation speed of the shield. I feel like that'd be really good. Yes, 100% more crit plays, 609 damage now on crits. I got a 97% chance. So that's perfect. And once I reach 100% crit, I won't get any more of those crit options. Which by itself is actually pretty good. Now, there's still a few more items I would like to get to add to make this building better, which, uh, let's see, that, actually, yeah, I'll just take this, and then I'll need to get a 1 HP, because then I'll do 20% more damage, so I'll take more range, because that will help me. Attack these guys earlier, which means they get hit earlier and then they'll actually just die. Like they will, like, just actually die faster. So, as you can see, I'm kind of already starting to just wipe the screen with a lot of these guys anyway. I swear, like, each time then my cactus is. Bounce, they actually get a little bit bigger. I don't know if that's actually programmed into the game, but I feel like it is. Or that's what it does. Granted, I could actually just be wrong. Uh, again, that doesn't really help me. So I'll just take this. My area's at 240% too, by the way. And this game is only like what five maybe ten dollars it's actually a pretty cheap game friends nowhere as cheap as vampire survivors for like two to five dollars but vampire survivors is so freaking in good that i don't get why that they don't actually just charge us more for it Ooh, nether boss thank you for dying <laughs> uh more tech speed no no um, I'll take this for the next health. So now I do 760 on crits instead of like 600. So now my damage is at 203, which is actually pretty dang good too. Um, I don't really like any of these. Yes, I will take that gladly. Thank you. That's exactly what I need for a 60% range, or 60% or area. Also the area is also, it's like the attract war. The more area that you have, the farther away I can actually pick up all the experience. So like it's only the outermost edge experience I do not get anymore. Which, granted, that's not bad. Uh, yeah, I'll take a little bit more damage. So, I, well, that went from 209 to 216, something like that. So, there's also ones that, uh, like, there's one that I would like to get that's a spinning projectile, basically. Oh, Undertaker. So this is the main boss in this game. And look how fast I just... Ow. Oh yeah, my shield can actually protect me on... Ow. This. So, uh, yeah, he should be dying pretty dang quickly. 
That was easy. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, so if you want to get this particular uh, build, just use this in the, the seed generator. And you can actually do that, but granted, you won't be able to get achievements. And achievements is how that you actually, you know, like, unlock new things. So, I will show you some... Ooh, shiny... Ooh, turret! Um... Yeah, I actually can't really want the turret. But this is also something that I was also wanting to show you, but the turret is so good! Granted, my attack speed is, gets greatly reduced. But I got a turret that will also shoot out bullets! Before, it always shot out the exact same weapon that you're using. Uh, why is my achievements disabled? They shouldn't be. Oh yes, for damage. Thank you. 13,000 damage. Let's go. And look, these guys are just getting basically spawn killed. <laughs> and this isn't even like all the cool items and stuff they can get in the game too. Like the turret is definitely really good for sure. There's no denying that. There's also different bosses that you can play, as you can see. So, yeah, this one... Eh. This one's actually really good. So, now, like, all the attacks are 70% less accurate for them. So, like, those fireballs, they have a better chance of missing me than they actually would normally. Which I still think is actually amazing. And now I can basically just go AFK and actually just watch videos while that this happens. Oh, uh, I'll take a little bit of extra attack speed. Oh yeah, and the little cup thing that I got does boost up my attack speed, so as long as I, it gets uh, fed with coins and XP and stuff, that will... I mean, it's already maxed out for what it's at right now. Oh, wow. We did I kill that guy. Uh, increase? Yeah, because this doesn't really matter all that much. Because, I mean, just with how fast I attack, they're not really going to survive that often anyway. But, uh, yeah, so... And like, you can see right over here, that's your bounty. So I, I mean technically once you kill the Undertaker, you can technically just stop. Or you can continue with your build. So me, I just want to continue, see how far I can take this one. See if anyone will actually be able to catch up to me in damage and not just be able to get one shot against me. Or if any of the elites or bosses want to actually be able to take me on and be able to get close. Oh, random damage boost, more bounce. No, I'll take this. Random size and damage boost between negative 20 to 80. So yeah, as you can see, like I can do a crazy amount of damage. <laughs> Which is actually really useful because these guys will actually get insanely strong given enough time. And look, some of my bolts are in just being weird. Uh, more range? Nah. I'll just take more health. That boosts up my damage. But this game is also coming out with a new DLC on the 21st of June. So that one I'm going to be getting. It's going to be unlocking new characters, new weapons. Uh, this one, yeah. So this is basically just a slow in order. So they'll actually move slower, which means I can deal more damage to them. It's actually very nice in scales with area, <coughs> which is actually great. Uh, let's, 
I don't really need more area. So let's do more crits. Now there's also a garlic. Alright, do I already have the garlic? No, because... Wait. Which one do I have? Yeah, no, that's just an intimidating aura, so that just slows me. But there's also one like this that will slow the enemy projectiles by like 50%. <coughs> it used to actually be a, a debuff for us, because it also slowed our projectiles too, not just the enemies. So I will probably take. Uh, I might. Uh, this, I'll take this. Cause this, I, this one used to be so good because it was unlimited, I believe. Or it's like, no, it used to be like 50% for your attack speed, but they nerfed it to 30%, sadly. But it's basically like the longer you don't take damage, the more attack speed that you have by 10%. Which is actually really good. So I'll just do a more crit damage. Because I don't need more crit chance, I'm already basically max crit chance. Oh, they actually got a dynamite out. That's what those mo guys do, they have dynamite. Oh, look, so he'd survive like a 2000 damage. So these guys are actually now getting stronger. Which is good. Now, I'll do this one. So, they'll technically be 30% faster, but they take 50% more damage. But since I got the solid ore that slows them by, what, like 50%? They move 20% ow. They move 20% slower. Uh, I'll take two dashes. How are you guys even getting anything off? Oh yeah, and the hearts stay around, so, but there's also one that you can take that will <coughs> basically use up the hearts and convert them into damage. So each heart gives you like plus one or plus two damage, which is pretty useful, especially when you're like me and just have this specific type of build. Oh, this actually gives you more XP. So I'll take that, that's good for level ups too. So, I'll take area. No, I'll reroll actually. I'll take health. Wow, my move speed is 7.2. That's actually really fast for this game. Alright, so, um, the boost to the attack speed that resets every time that I get hit. So it's fair that I can just kill all these guys, and yes, 100% more crit damage, please. I'm all, I'm getting close to 10,000 damage. That's nuts. And you know, there's plenty of other specific builds I could go for, like a dash build, a piercing build, a bounce build. So there's a pong in this, so then you can actually just like all your attacks will just bounce. Um, I guess I'll take that. It doesn't really matter at this point on what I take. Because most things are actually just going to help me more than they're, they will ever hurt me. So like you can see I'm already doing 13,000 damage in some cases. Which for this is actually pretty dang good I'd say. I wonder if I can get the extra health or extra damage for the hearts because the hearts will no longer heal me if I take that. Instead they're actually just going to be absorbed by me for damage. Oh he got in kind of close. Mm. Eh, yeah I'll take this. So now I'm at 300 damage, I'm dealing like over 7,000 just regularly. Crit by 5, eh. Increased chance of dealing critical damage, so... 
Turn that gun to 880%. That's why I got that. Hmm. I guess I probably should have just gone for damage. Also, like, this stuff stacks too, by the way. So, like, the. Because I get, like, 10% uh, damage per health that I have. More or less. Oh, I probably don't really need to... Uh... Explosion, damage... So there's some things you can also do to add you just, um... Increase your, um... Quality. Okay, so this is actually what I think is really good on this one. 0.5% of my damage, and there is for enemies around yet. So that's what? 30, 60, like over 60 plus damage, something like that. I'm not always the best with percentages in my head, but you know, I do what I can. I'm already almost at level 50 too. Oh yeah, so things that you do to like decrease lag is what I was kind of thinking of. So turn off the explosions, damage numbers, stuff like that. Oh, thank you for the rare. Purple shot. Sure. And I just instantly gained a lot of that back. <laughs> thank you. And keep in mind, I'm running a 3080 graphics card, 32 gigs of RAM, and one terabyte SSD. And my desktop is really good. It's a powerful desktop, which is why I got it, because I desperately need an upgrade compared to my last computer. And I'm already lagging out this game. And it hasn't been like 20 minutes ish since I started this. Wow, he actually got really close. See, this is the one. So, you gain 3 damage, kills you completely. Wait. Huh? How are you gain 3 base damage and pick apart? Kills you completely and gain 3 max HP? That's no. So it didn't, it did not do that before. Before, it just didn't have this last part. You wouldn't, I mean, it was still picking up parts no longer heals you, but you gain like, base damage. So let's take this, so remember, 356. And then this takes a while to actually collect all the hearts. And granted, I'm doing 20% less damage than what I'm doing due to that uh, odd even thing. So I need to find one that gives me 1 HP up. But I'm already at what I was before. And I'm already surpassing it. And this is actually broken. Yes. Yeah, I need to reduce the lag too. Uh, let's do the grenade, I guess. Is there anything? Take that off, take that off, and take that off. Yeah, I'll take the more damage. So, the shift button brings up your stats. I usually just like to have it always on myself. So it looks like that the Bloodlust does give you like 3 max HP, which is good, but that was kind of bad for me because that means I'm doing 70 or 20% less damage. What's my damage at now? Seventeen thousand? 
Good. Run modifiers. So this is pretty good for the lag wise, or meaning that there isn't much lag. And look, I'm already almost at a thousand damage. And that's just from collecting the hearts too, mind you. So this one slows projectiles the enemies, but you used to also slow your own, which is always so bad. So I'll get this, so now I have all three auras. So projectiles are slowed, enemies also take additional damage when they're near me by 25% of my damage, which is, you know, a lot of damage. And then uh, they're slowed by 50%, but they're sped up by 20%, but they take 50% more damage, so they're more slowed by like 20%, but they still take 50% more damage too. I mean, look at just how high that my damage is, and that's just after collecting all these hearts. And remember, they're randomly generated. So they will randomly spawn in, or you will, I'll randomly get them after killing an enemy. So, I'm already at over almost 1300 damage. Yes. And now I'm almost at 2,000 damage because I'm doing 20% more damage. <laughs> How high can this go? Oh, and I think my tech speed is maxed out too, by the way. I think I'm doing pretty good. I'm already at level 50. <sighs> Yeah, this is definitely an insanely broken build, and it doesn't even take that much to even get there either. All you really need is like crits and crit damage. Gluttony, but like I'd probably say like if you can get the attack boosting ones of these type of stuff. So this one I can gain 5 damage by default. Just like when I dash. Oh, and that doesn't have a... Does that even have a limit? No. So this used to have a limit for like 10 times doing this. And now it does not anymore. Which, I feel like it should still have a limit. But 204% attack, 262% attack speed, and 109% speed. And I'm at 2000, basically 2050 damage. Yeah, I'm over 2150 in damage. And it's only been like almost half an hour. So this is what happens when you can get into endless mode, and I'm still one-shotting these guys. They probably have thousands of HP by now too. Because I know that it gets stronger the longer they survive in the waves. I'm just wanting to see how far I can push this. See if I can get every single upgrade in the game. But I might actually just end this here. Because, I mean, you know, there's not much point. <laughs> so, I can also go for just more of a pure movement build. So, now I just do a lightning strike and I just rely everything on that. How did I get hurt? Ah oh, well, it don't really matter. So, yeah. Oh, and I'm only at 22% crit chin. Huh. But I also dealt a lot more damage too. Alright, boost up my damage by a crap ton. Uh, what, like five times the one that I roll?
So yeah, almost 3,000 then. RG, I think I should just stop once I reach 3,000. So I mean, my crit's going to just naturally regenerate over time. Granted, it's going to take a while due to the healing boots because that reduces your dash regeneration by like 30% or 30 seconds, something like that. So it really slows it down. So yeah, I can also slow the enemies even more when I hit them. <laughs> you can see how broken that this can get, right? I mean, I'm already almost at 3,000 damage. Which is actually just... Yeah, now see, I'm at 3,000 damage. Nothing can survive. Like, even when I get more maximum HP, they're just not surviving. Granted, I'm getting 10% more XP, and I'm barely even getting anything right now. I could probably just go until I have like 100,000 or um, 1 million bounty and just have this the road to the million bounty. Yeah, I'll take this. So, uh, cooldown can also reduce how long it takes for your dashes to regenerate. So, I might see if I can go for a little bit of extra cooldown. Granted, I don't really need the crits right now because I'm dealing over 3,000. What is my damage right now without my crits? 16, 40, yeah. I don't really need crit anyway. <laughs> I should probably just wait until I have a million dollar bounty on me and just wait for this video. Oh, this guy's perfect. So he will go around and pick up your coins for you. Plus he also does minor damage. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Granted, I probably could have gotten like a few more cactuses, but what does that really matter when I'm doing all this. <laughs> I mean, I got 15. Yeah, so you see that where that the um, so that this is how it's not actually going back down and all that. That means I maxed out my attack speed bonus for that. So that's 15.46 is with a 30% extra attack speed bonus. And my crit's back up to 52%. Granted, it's taking a while to actually get back up to that point, but it's still going. Ooh, that means... Ooh, that's actually pretty dang nice. But I think I'll take a big Bertha. So, basically... <laughs> this happens. <laughs> yeah. I'm just spawn killing them at this point. And the fact that they all come back, because they follow the boomerang. So if you have this with boomerang, that's actually pretty good, because you basically protect, give yourself, and shield of sorts. Oh. How did I get back up to max health? Hmm. Interesting. So, I'm dealing almost 2600 damage without my extra damage boost. So, yeah. So, this is actually really good. So, if you combine this with the dash heal and the dash damage, 
If you have the armor, you will actually heal up because the shield will take the hit from the dash damage. So in this way, and that regenerates about once a minute. -ish. So this way, you can also heal yourself up while still boosting up your damage by 5 each time. Which is actually really good, I'd say. Like, really, really, really good. I mean, just... I don't even have to even do anything at this point. So yeah, 4,176 damage. That's how much I'm getting now. I'll take Lucky Star because that's one of the newest ones. And look, I'm already at almost a million dollar bounty. And the damage just keeps going up and up. So it goes up by, what, seven each time? Yeah. Well, six to seven per heart. Because that's probably the multiplier combination that I'm getting with it. I mean, these guys at this point, they're just no match for me. Even with a 76% crit chance. Golden Day, this will home. Uh, that doesn't really work for the boomerang build. So I would not suggest getting that for that. So this gives us bare, like, stuff. Our chance to get like a higher rarity, basically. So like, ones that you want to have for like the dice wise, this one, because if you get golds, you reroll, you get the mythic. This one, you get like, additional choices, higher rarity, and then of course, you know, you got your um, additional chance one. So, as you can see, you can actually get really good stuff. So I'll let it just go for the next level. Granted, that it might take a few minutes, even with the extra 10% XP and everything that I'm getting on this. Because, I mean, my area and my little helper guy is just getting everything for me. Like, honestly, I really don't even need to do anything. I can literally just sit here just watching some videos. Uh, people doing... Oh. Yeah, he also gets you a chest, too. So this one, I'll actually just take this. So you might not be able to see it due to just all the bullets. But I will have, like, a ring around me for... Shurikens. A ring of shurikens. So as you can see, like with those, yeah, that is my little protection that I got. So that's actually pretty and useful because you also got a little shield and it generates one every four seconds. Unless if that you have a bunch of cooldown. And you can get different upgrades. Well, I mean, it's just a really good one, especially if you're not doing like the shuriken because they these can pierce. So if you go for a piercing build, make sure you get the whirling whirlwind because it will go through enemies. So for me, I have five pierce for a bound. So my shurikens will be able to hit five enemies. <coughs> Uh, uh, my shurikens will be able to hit five enemies before they despawn. And look, I mean, I can just continually shoot off these knives even when I'm moving. And I don't really need to even move. Because, I mean, I never really need to move in this. Only just really at the beginning. But I mean, these knives, the more you stand still, the more you'll generate. So it's actually pretty good. So, like this one, yeah, it's not bad. This one's actually pretty bad, to be honest, I have to admit. So I'll take this one. 
So now, you know, you see that goes up, that's maxed out, and then I'll just fire all of them. Yeah, 5,000. So, these are now epic, they're now legendary, and now they're all mythic. So crits, 400, or 250% more. Crit chance, or crit damage, 25%. So that is my crit chance, basically. More move speed, so this gets me a lot of move speed, which I don't really need. 60% area, which was great for me. And a lot of attack speed, don't really need that. So I'll just do the crit damage. Why am I glowing? Hello? Oh, that must have been the invincibility. Okay, but yeah. So, as you can see, I'm creating things strong in this. So, I think I will just end this one here because there's no way that any enemies will ever really be able to kill me at this point. Especially now with all the missiles, the shurikens, and then the... Oh, yeah. So, this one, you can actually just... Granted, you're not really able to see it because I have it turned off at the moment. But every time I move, I'm doing a shockwave. So I can just deal damage, I can just kill enemies just by moving. So like if you want to do like a movement build, and if you want to see me do any of these kinds of builds I'm explaining, let me know that in the comments. But I mean like there's movement builds, where you can just purely damage them based off of your movement. So like just take the knife one. Like take the two knives. Take the lightning. Take the stomp. Get good damage. So like do something like this. And then you just do so much damage to them. It doesn't really matter. So yeah. Now I'm back to uh, over 100% crit. It used to be that they actually didn't have a limit cap on the crit chance, which was kind of dumb, really, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, so, um, I'm going to end this one here, just because there's nothing really that these enemies can do to me. Alright. So, now I'll show you the little black market. So, this is a super black market, which you only get after you max out Roger's black market. So, more damage. More attack speed, more dash, more health. You move faster, you get more cooldown, you get bigger area. You collect things from farther away, you get more rerolls, and you get more chests. Once you max those out, which granted that does take a little while to actually max out. Maybe like 20 plus runs, and you just surviving and doing what I did. So this one, gain chest start the game if you beat a sheriff in the previous run. Which is pretty good, that's why that's so much. You get 10% chance of dropping coins twice. Four chests on the floor is doubled. Mythics have low chance of appearing level ups. So you get additional choice for upgrades by 30. And additional choice in chests. This is upgrades, this is chests. You get one banish. And you get two banish room rerolls and chests per game. And you know, then there is all the things that you can get. So these are stuff that I've gotten for infamies. I could probably easily have done that in like a lot of it. So 40, three wins freak, three wins freak. And you know, you get the upgrade ones. So if you get attack speed 20, you get that. Mount with an uneven. Daily challenges. I don't really do those. Take 20 hits. This one, I mean, technically, I already have this unlocked. It, for some reason, doesn't think that I do, but I have. 
So you kill the Undertaker, you get split. You win game after getting Big Bertha, you get this difference. Madeline, kill Denzel, he's a mole guy who throws bombs at you. You don't move for a minute, you unlock a new character and the turret. You get killed, you get the dice. Gluttony, 8 health while you have Gluttony. That gets you the Stumpy Boy. One game with Necromancer's pack active, super something. I don't, maybe that's a supermarket. Take a mythic, you get more coins. Steam boot with vein dashes, you get him. Well, technically it's not a character, it's just a new skill. So, Killing Undertaker, fucking hit at Infamy, 40 above. Mythic reroll. Five upgrade rerolls at once, so save your rerolls. Less than half, you get the adrenaline. Espresso for 25 seconds, you get that. Being with Nigel, you unlock this ninja. <coughs> Avoid three damage due to plot armor, which is the shield I showed you earlier in the run. I uh, get exploded by. You get killed by Rex and Brutus. You get the oh that kill him with JD. You get the knives. Naka, you get coins. Win with any infamy. You get Nigel and his shurikens. Killing in less than 20 seconds. Super easy. I've done this before. Uh, kill Undertaker with Roger, you get the Gold Nuggets. Take a hit after getting the Drag Magnet, you get hurt. Uh, so this, if you get hit twice in a row, you heal for two hearts. Which is pretty good. Get to 250, you get a dash. Attain four dashes, you get the Crit Chance one. Uh, six dashes, you get that. 1,000 meters, you get that one. 2,000. Technically, I think I already have that. And then, you know, just infamy. One hundred hits, you yeah, unlock that one. Crit chance, 5,000 crits in total. Undertaker with Nigel, you get damage bonus. Four legendaries, you get rerolls. Dash 10 times, you get the healing boots. Crit chance, you get that. So that will basically, any if the, you're crit the hit will pierce so that can technically go on as long as it crits cooldown to 50% lower you unlock a new character and him 180 no scope and 3 is a magic number 1 run kill the undertaker kill Rex and Brutus tequila that's the one that gives um, a 70% accuracy Oh yeah, so this is poison, so that's actually a really nice one too. You just have to get the onion. Wow, level 40 or more. For all legend for higher indeed. Surya, you get the bullet. Undertaker, don't move, 25 seconds, so that's a standing still one. Kill him with fall. You know, this is the one. So kill him with Robert, you get the odd even health. Plus 20% or minus 20% damage. 5,000 mirrors, you get the knives and her. Simple Tom is an enemy boss you can spawn in. So, Naka, you get the. Oh, I hate you. So, I get 30% move speed and I take more damage. Olin, you get the grenades. Legendary upgrade, you get that. 300 gold, you get him, and he's actually pretty good, because he starts, granted he has like one to a health at the beginning, so, you want to make sure that you're careful with him, dash 100 times, kill 5,000, or 50,000, 3 uh, infinite 10, this will increase your attack speed as long as you don't move, and he will start out with this once you do this. Dental without being hit, so you get the 30% uh, attack speed, 10 hits in one game, that's a damage boost, 
15 hearts in one game, that's how you get the insane damage boost one. 2,000 mirrors, you get shotgun girl, and then freaking freak on the house, you get that. As for characters, so Syria. Staying still, gradually increases your attack speed. Times two after 10 seconds, effects by cooldown. And he starts with minus 10 damage. So, I mean, this guy, you attack faster when you're closer, but slower when you're farther. So, Roger, additional choices. And it's always a higher quality, but you start with two less health and point two attack speed less. Robert gets a tower. Madeline, you know, move two mirrors. Next shot with two more projectiles. Not bad. Jody is a knife guy. And then randomized. So, yeah, that is Bounty of One. If you want to see more of this, let me know that in the comments. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. You know, join my Discord server. Join. Let's go ahead and support me over on Twitch by hitting that subscribe over there. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.